today we are back in the revival of cities server in infinity kingdom and we're going to be talking about the provincial capital kratos and how we helped prevent the mega whales and alliance chn from even being able to try to take this capital from green what's going on guys cheers now here we're looking at the top five strongest troop power in idvia the blue faction here in the revival of cities server and you can see that three of those five are from chn now if you guys have been following along the revival of cities event you will know that we recently changed factions to the green faction of vitas if you haven't seen some of my previous videos about this event there's a playlist it will be linked below but basically the map looks like this okay okay it is a majority blue and green and we despite everyone sort of moving to green have had a really tough time fighting back blue they just have some really powerful players and they have a lot of numbers but the other day the provincial capital of Kratos became available for taking and our allies in arc had a plan to prevent CHN from even trying to take it and we were down to help them out so the first thing I want to talk about is what is a provincial capital and what makes it different than a regular city here on the map well for one this city starts at level five which is a pretty high level and some of the provincial capitals even start higher than that like Daphne which starts at seven but the primary thing with the provincial capitals is that they provide even stronger buffs for your alliance or whoever is controlling it so you can see here that not only does it give you gold per hour which is much more important than any other resource here in the game it is used for boosting your immortals it is used for leveling up your dragons it's extremely vital that you have a steady healthy flow of gold into your pocket and by having a provincial capital everyone in the alliance gets this gold per hour which is beautiful but on top of that normally cities will provide you with some sort of buff right whether it's you know food production or stone production or here it's you know seriously wounded healing speed right but for the provincial capitals the buff tends to be a little bit stronger okay here we see a mortal attack goes up by four percent if we look at something like Daphne a mortal attack six percent now remember this starts at a higher level which is why it's stronger so the buffs for these capitals are really good okay and usually if you are an alliance that can control multiple provincial capitals you have a pretty nice foothold here on the map in general so when these capitals became available for taking uh it became apparent that we needed to fight to control these and as you can see here um two of the most powerful green uh alliances do have control of these provincial capitals which is very good the problem is that chn specifically told us that they were willing to fight us for kratos and that had us worried because if they got hold of kratos they will have an even stronger foothold in this section of the map but the alliance arc had a plan and shout out to them shout out to lord for bringing this to our attention and giving us the opportunity to help them fight off chn for kratos and as you can see the plan actually turned out to work so for right now green has control of it which is great it's been a few days now since we've taken control of this um and so all is well now an important key detail with provincial capitals is that when they first open in order to even contest or try to take that capital city your alliance has to own a city within that providence and these providences are generally broken down by these darker lines on the map you can see i'm outlining one here so for kratos uh, this providence is along this black line here so in order for an alliance to even try to take kratos when it first opened they had to own one of the cities and chn as you can see owns orthosia now the capital opens a little bit after reset and the plan was if we as an alliance as iw this is the alliance that me with gaming clash bashing are all playing in of course if you guys haven't started playing the revival of cities event there's a link down below you're more than welcome to join us but the plan was if we can get the strong players in iw to teleport around orthosia and start to take the city right before the capital city became available as long as we took that city then chn couldn't even try to take kratos now remember there are three players that are vip 15 in chn so there was a high probability that if we started to take orthosia they were going to teleport in and stop us and there's pretty much nothing we could do about it but if they decided to try to stop us from taking orthosia 
that would mean that they would be in the bloody rage state which means they wouldn't be able to teleport for at least nine or ten minutes and since we were attacking right at the time that the capital city became open for contention if they tried to stop us they couldn't teleport back to kratos to try to take it before arc would succeed so it was sort of like a lose lose for them if they couldn't stop us from taking orthosia they couldn't even try to take kratos but if they did teleport then kratos would be taken by arc and they would lose that opportunity so without further ado let's go ahead and see how this all went down so as you can see here this is on 210 248 so about almost three hours after reset and the capital city was going to become available i believe at 3 utc so you can see here we are right before the capitals open and chn had a few players that were decently powered sitting around the city here you can see that i have teleported in on a location that i predetermined would be mine because i believe i was the strongest player or one of the strongest players in iw that were online at the moment so you can see here that i planned to teleport right next to the strongest players surrounding orthosia in case they were online and they would fight back against maybe some of our weaker players so initially the plan is going well we wanted to first clear out the enemy before reset we wanted to make sure that there was nobody there uh to stop us one once we wanted to take the city and as you can see here it's going according to plan now right now we didn't know if by attacking the players that we would be uh basically alerting them that they are that we're here right um and again if we did at least we would have the distraction advantage the VIP 15 players could teleport in and of course they could stop us from taking the city but because we're so close to the capital being open we would be good to go so this went very very well as you can see here um, we quickly dispatched of these players with no resistance at all which told us that we were probably good to go they are probably offline they're probably not paying attention to orthosia which made us wonder if they even knew that this provincial capital was ready to be taken in just a few minutes now one of the hiccups in our plan is that we had the maximum number of cities that we could possibly have as an alliance if you guys didn't know your alliance level determines how many cities your alliance can own and part of this plan involved us dropping a city that we didn't need before the attack and we were a little bit late to do that i didn't realize that it would take an hour and i dropped the city a little bit later than we thought so here we are we're waiting for that timer on the abandonment to go down because if we capture the city before this timer is up we we don't actually get to take that city and we actually wanted to keep it for ourselves and here we are it's three utc so a few moments later and we can see that kratos is about to be available and arc is in the perfect formation we have chn one of the vip 15 players has teleported in to try to fight off arc but their formation is just too powerful it's too good they have completely surrounded this city in a formation where their only chance for one of the vip 15 players to even try to teleport in would be to teleport into a place where they can't use a peace shield and if that's the case arc has a vip 15 player it's lord i mentioned him in the last video he would be in the middle of the arena ready to fight and this is this is gangster right i mean he's g checking him okay he's saying like hey you, you want to fight i'm your only choice you have to fight me or you're gonna sit behind all of these other players who are perfectly shielded in a formation and you can't even touch them you can't force them to teleport away you can't get closer for your friends to get closer there's nothing you can do you either fight lord or you sit on the outside and do nothing and since their formation was working and one of the vip 15 players had already teleported over there it was our turn to take orthosia you can see here that there is a warning saying that we have the maximum number of cities i checked right before this to confirm that we had about a minute and 30 seconds before we dropped the city and we knew that as long as we uh take the city after the timer is over we'll be good to go so we started the fight i initiated the first attack and everybody else in iw followed and we started to take orthosia this is where things started to get a little bit scary because we realized okay 
are there going to be other players that try to stop us because they already have their eyes set on or on on kratos they know that that capital is going to be a taken by arc and they previously said that they were going to fight for it they wanted to take that capital city and this is our turn to try to stop them from doing so so here we go we are attacking the outer walls of orthosia and all is going according to plan everybody here is online you can see lord has his alt account in our lines helping us take down the outer walls and it's going pretty quickly it's a level four we have a lot of players online and we're doing really really well um everybody is following orders this was very organized everybody knew exactly what to do nobody hit the city early nobody you know was scouting early everybody used a teleport and that was a key thing i made sure nobody in iw used a relocation besides this one this happened afterwards but we didn't want anybody to use a relocation because that basically would just alert them that hey we're coming to Arthosia. So we wanted this to be a surprise. And now that they're already trying to get Kratos, surprise, we're here, we're taking the wall and it's going really quickly. You can see here, I am healing up as fast as I can. Um, and I wanted to make sure that the players of my Alliance knew what the strongest true power was for Garrison. So I put it there as a marker that way, players who don't have a strong enough, um, army won't even attack the garrison because you lose a lot of troops if you lose to a garrison so we wanted to make sure that that, that wouldn't happen uh so here we are we are we're healing as many troops as we can um, at this point i was getting nervous because i didn't know if we had enough players with a strongest troop power to take this down before somebody else teleported in and here they come so we have a 350 uh, 000 power player um who can definitely disrupt our attack and I immediately realized that this was um, this was a job for me. I basically had to do it. He teleported next to me. He asked for it. He basically thought he could come in here and stop, stop us from taking the city. Uh, he must have known what was going on or she. I don't know who, who this player is. They must have known that our plan was to take Orthosia so they couldn't take Kratos. They teleport in and uh, we immediately get him out of there. We knew that, you know, there's nothing they could do. I don't even know what their strategy was they teleported in alone um they had a lot of power but they just didn't have the numbers they couldn't do it they couldn't even force me to teleport so everything was still all good they spooked us a little bit and they made me use uh some extra troops to take them down but it is what it is everything was going well we had uh basically one garrison and a little bit left on the other to take down and the rest is pretty much history um we we were able to take down orthosia and boom we're good to go so the plan worked um nobody teleported into orthosia to prevent us from taking it and uh you know whether it was a distraction or not they can't take kratos now that we own this city so iw succeeds in taking orthosia it was a well-coordinated attack with very little resistance but extreme importance for the overall strategy of holding this portion of the map taking a look at kratos and you can see the damage has already been done everybody in arc is here the fight went down they took the capital city and everything went according to plan many of arcs players are still protected by their barrier but you can see now that chn realized what was going down kratos was taken and they were teleporting in now to see if there was anything that they could do about it but it was much too late and of course lord was there ready and willing to fight anybody about 10 minutes later and the war continued to rage on you can see that the vip 15 players basically uh took each corner of the formation that uh that arc built there um it looks like one of the vip 15 players wasn't in this area but they did have two players here one from uh aofk um and then in the bottom corner here you can see uh there's two other um vip 15 players over there so this is basically what the formation looked like and the battle continued to rage on um they realized those vip 15 players they realized that uh because they were in bloody rage they were basically stuck here uh which means that they could be um lord's punching bag if he wanted to um or they couldn't teleport around the map to stop anyone else from taking any of their other cities and of course it was already too late at the end of the day now of course if we fast forward to today they did take back orthosia shortly after but it didn't matter the plan worked the plan was to either be a distraction or prevent them from taking the capital and it worked so huge shout out to arc huge shout out to everybody who was involved in this strategy um as you can see here as just sort of an update for the revival of cities event we do own right now five cities um but the first ever fight for the world heart is coming up very very soon this is going to be a huge deal for the server and pretty much everybody every alliance is going to be fighting 
for control of the world heart so we'll have to wait and see how this goes down um it's going to be a big deal right it's going to be a big deal i can imagine that many players will zero themselves just to fight for the world heart the contention of relics starts after the holy domain chapter is uh is over which is in about two days it looks like so yeah things are gonna get really crazy here in the next couple of days in the revival of cities uh server and by the time this video goes up we may already be starting that fight so things are gonna get really interesting if you guys uh want to stay tuned with this event make sure you go ahead and catch up with the videos in the playlist and of course if you want to join the revival of cities event there's there's a link in the description you can download infinity kingdom and make sure you create a character in server 136 just as a quick update for my immortal progression here in this account for those of you who are interested we are still primarily using the earth march we do have one skill missing on charles martel our secondary march is still water and we are very close to focusing on lightning which is going to be our next step here so we do know that we've got Esong, peter uh richard and medvi in a good spot eventually we're going to be getting our hands on genghis khan which is extremely useful and not only is lightning going to be great for countering everybody who focused on earth in the early game it's also really interesting in the late game as a way to counter holy teams which is a really interesting phenomenon if you guys are interested in learning more about that i can talk about it in a later video but of course if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video we just hit 30,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace